Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to learn MySQL program number 3, create a table with the following details and enter 10 records into the table. Here entity name they have given student and here attribute names, type, size and constraint is given. So as per the question, we are going to create a database. So here I have already opened MySQL uh, command line client and here I need to type the password then hit enter. So now it is ready to receive the commands from the user. First of all, we have to create a database. I'll write create database. You can give any name to this database. I'll give uh, the database name as student database and hit enter. Put semicolon, hit enter. Now the database called student database is created. Now we have to enter into this database and we are going to create a table called student. Now in order to enter into this database, we have to use use student data base semicolon hit enter. Now we are going to create a table according to this table. So here I'll write create table and table name is student and inside the round bracket first attribute name is role number. And its data type is int and size is 5. And here the constraint is primary key. Now I am going to write here primary key, comma. The next column name is s name, that is student name. I'll write s name. And the data type here you can observe it is var care. So I'll write here var care and size is 15. And it should be not null. So I'll write here N O T in a lowercase letter and N U L L null should be written in capital letter. Next comma uh, D O B that is date of birth. I'll write here D O B date the data type. Next gender put comma. I'll write here gender. Gender is of type char. So char and size is only one. So either M or F you can write. So here I am going to write 1 and then close the bracket. Comma. Next combination. C O M B N they have given. So next I will write where care type of data and whose size should be 5. Then next column here class and care type of data. So I will write class care type of data and whose size is 6. So here I am going to write 6 and close the bracket and for this opening one more closing bracket and put semicolon hit enter. Now you can observe that we have created a table called student. Now let us uh, insert 10 records at least into this particular table. So I am going to use insert into name of the table is student. Next we will write values. And inside of the bracket, first of all, we have to write roll number. For example, I am going to write 1, comma. Next, yes name. So here, care, var care and date type of data should be written in single pair of quotation mark. So here, yes name is var care type of data. Hence, it has to be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark. So for example, I am going to write we know. Next, close the quotation mark, put comma. Next column is DOB that is date of birth. So you can write any date of birth. For example, even date of birth should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark. And the format of date is first four digit years, then hyphen, next two digit months, next two digits day, and then close the quotation mark, put comma. Next, after this, we have got gender and it is of type only one character. So, it should be enclosed within single pair of a quotation mark. And here I am going to write male M. So, next, comma. And here you can observe combination. So, here you can observe there are two combinations they have given BASC and CEBA. BASC means it is a business studies, accountancy, statistics, and computer science. CEBA means it is computer science, economics, business studies and accountancy. Now, 
here i'm going to write in a single quotation mark for example b a s c then comma here you can see class so for example i'm going to write class as 2 a end the quotation mark and then close the bracket because this is the last column next put semicolon hit enter so you can observe that we have created one record now use up arrow mark and here you can make changes Now you can observe that we have already uh, inserted 10 records. Let us uh, uh, learn the first question. You can observe here list all the students they have given. So, in order to list all the students, we have to write select all from name of the table is student semicolon and hit enter. You can observe that we have created a table with 10 records. Question number two list the students who are in BASC and CEBA combination. For that, we have to write select all from student where combination is equal to in a single pair of a quotation mark. We can write here BASC or combination COM BN is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark. You can write CBA, put semicolon, hit enter. So here you can observe it is displaying all the 10 records because either this combination or this combination because here we have entered only these two combinations hence it is showing all the 10 records. Next question is list only the combination by removing duplicate values. For that I am going to write select will use distinct distinct of combination com bn from student table semicolon hit enter so you can observe that we have got only two combinations either basc or cba next question is list the students alphabetically in order to write that we are going to write select i want s name that is student name from student table will use your order by clause next order by yes name semicolon hit enter you can observe that all the 10 students in an ascending order next list the students alphabetically and class wise so for that here we will write select class comma here I am going to use one of the aggregate functions called min for student name and alias it as as yes name only so from student table. I will write group by class and then order by yes name student name so semicolon hit enter. So you can observe that here class wise and alphabetical wise student names are written so next is list the students who born in the month of june of any year so for that i'm going to write select all from student where i'll write month is one of the built in functions of date of birth so it is going to return only month of the date of birth is equal to June is 6 month so hence we have to write 6 semicolon 
hit enter you can observe that there are two students who have born in the month of 6 that is in the month of june the next question is count the number of students gender wise so for that i am going to write select gender comma so for counting we are going to use count all from student here we have to use group by they have given gender wise we have to group so here i am going to write gender semicolon hit enter you can observe that there are four male students and six female students i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video